What's up, Scrollsers? It's Nerp here, and today we're gonna play a ranked match with Gravelocks. So again, there'll be a link to the deck in the description below. And um, okay, by the way, if you didn't notice, I'm starting to stop doing that thing where you just copy paste the this kind of text because YouTube makes random hyphens appear. So instead, I have a link to a deck on Scrollger orangey's deck website so you guys can all check that out and made some slight adjustments uh, since probably a lot of adjustments since you've seen me play this deck last i did play this deck a lot right when uh, waypoints came out because it was doing really well but since then i stopped playing for a while because it just didn't do that well anymore but now it feels like it's coming back into the meta again because um there's a decent amount of growth um and it just it tends to beat other energy decks it tends to beat growth decks it doesn't do too well against like bloodline taint decay with all that stuff but you know it could still win so what i did notably for my like my last grave lock deck you probably saw is i i removed my corrodes i know corrodes are awesome but they were kind of taking up valuable space put in tick bombs took out potion of resistance be tick bombs because there's a lot of uh, energy on the ladder right now so and put in extra thunder surge so unreachable hello and good luck and have fun two elder starting hands i'll keep it i'll get rid of the lockling brood it's not amazing to have them in your starting hand because then i'm probably gonna have a I'm probably not gonna have a two drop or a three drop but if i can go with them back to back on turns five and turn six that would be amazing and he's decay so i'm a little bit worried no point in holding on to two uhus these unique creatures destroy the other one and gravelock elder is much more valuable so let's see turn two drop trison okay snorgel omelet i will actually get rid of i'd rather just go straight into uhu next turn and hopefully he doesn't have a soul steal right here he could very well have a soul steal Once I get those elders out, then it'll be hard for him to stole steal my stuff because I have all this health. I'm worried if this is like a okay, no so eager scar, interesting. Um, machinated, I would love to keep because of the raiders relentless, but um, I think it's more important that we keep our grave lock curve going, and I'll just run away a little bit. Okay, so this is like a scary turn for me next turn i really don't want to top deck like an elder or something i don't want to top deck elder or burn thunder surge okay i'm, I'm fine with top decking yet so i'm just gonna go for the elder now sticking it back here so now you he can't soul steal me and i could move down and try to pressure him but I'm not too worried about losing this middle out. I might see this might be undead decay because there's a blade house. It might be a Yolo decay. I don't know. So I might be a little bit worried just leaving this middle out open. But I want to, in case he has like uneasy alliances and stuff, I don't want to just, or like damage curse to get rid of the Uhu. I don't want to just like destroy my raider behind and stuff like that. So next turn, I'll have a lot of energy if I want to use Uhu's ability. Okay, Flesh Nightmare, so it looks like this is undead. A little worried here. Energy tends to beat Decay, though. Now, obviously, I'm going to keep the Elder. So I get rid of the Guard. And... Um, I think it's time I just lock down the center, center lane. I'll play the Elder. And then... I could just kill this tribesman. So I will. I mean, me increase my energy, all it would be mean is me playing another grave lock. I don't think that is too necessary. Moving down with these guys, so. He is kinda screwed if he doesn't have his damage curses coming fast. And hopefully I can top that machinated or something. 
Some people call it machinated, some people say machinated. Same with m machination mindset, machination mindset. Okay, so he moves down, so he's kind of like running away. Not really though, because he's just letting this eager scryer die. Just to deal a little bit of damage to that guy. And... Hmm, five resources. What could I do here? So this, that eager scryer is dead. I do want to get the... Lachlan Brood is okay against Decay. I mean, it does that of Languids. And all the sorts of the poison stuff. And Cursed Presence it dies too, which is annoying. So I guess it's not that good against Decay. But I do want to get it out. Iron Whip might be useful with like Iron Whip Burn, stuff like that. So I'm going to get rid of the Grey Block Guard. Sacrifice him for Scrolls. And I could go with an Iron Whip on the Elders, just to destroy this. But I think I'd rather just get the Raw Lachlan Brood out. So... I'll get it out up here, and, and, we're good. Next turn I'll have a lot of energy to work with if I want to use Udo's power. Okay, so... Law well, likely we're gonna get rid of our tick bomb next turn because Takei's only real structure that it plays in ranked often is Watcher. And I'm not that worried about a Watcher right now when he's only up oh, there's a Watcher. I might actually use it because it might help me destroy what's Okay, so I will actually use it this turn because I can get to the harvester behind. Wow, I've never actually uh used tick bomb like in a big play versus Decay, but whatever. Um so I will I actually win really soon. I think I should just focus on destroying these creatures though. So the Revenant has ward, but the Watcher does not. And when I tick bomb, I will have two resources. And then I'm gonna have one, two, three, four, five, so I can go ahead and play the freak. Without having to like iron whip or anything. Without having to sacrifice our resources. So I'll just go ahead and sacrifice your scrolls. And then I'll go for a increase of energy. And I will move down. And stick a freak right here. And tick bomb right there. Okay, cool. So now we just has those units on down on the lower part of the board and I have two pretty strong creatures attacking them. Oblivion Seeker. I haven't seen any Halls of Ohm Loss or Poison yet, so I'm not really sure what kind of deck this is he's playing. And Fury, can I win? Fury, Fury, Fury. Yes, I can win. I actually win just with a couple iron whips. So See if I can get a short. No, that'll no, I can't. All right, so that's GG. That was pretty quick. I'm glad I was able to um, win that match. Of course, nine round nine win without Crow for Gravelock Energy. That's probably the fastest win I've had with Gravelock Energy. Usually, Gravelock Energy games just like for me go like just like ramping up with like a Snarl Omelet and like hoping that I can like hold on with my idols with my giant health units in front of them. Okay, so he's relatively low rated, but not too bad. So that was a really short match, but I really don't have time to record another one, so sorry about that, guys. Um, so thank you all for watching. Like the video, enjoyed subscribe for more content like this. Remember to check the description below for the decks. Uh, submit your top plays to me at nerfthinge.gmail.com, and keep on scrolling, scrollers. I will see you all tomorrow.